Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the pipes in Blender 3.6. So now I just opened the Blender 3.6 and as demo, first I'm going to press A to delete all of the items of the existing item. I press delete button. Next I'm going to add a mesh, add a cube. Next step, I will go to the edit mode and right click it. Merge the vertices at the center. So now, I'm going to start creating my pipes. Now it is just a vertices like this. So now I click, I click X. So it is at the X plane. And then I press E to extrude, and I press G to make sure it is straight enough like this. So uh, again, E to extrude. Then I press Y to make sure it is according to Y axis. Next, I can turn to this. Let's say if I want to, to let it go to that direction, then I click here and then press E to extrude at X direction, like this. Then press E, let's say I want it to, to be up, then I press G up. So now you can see if this is the pipe that I want to create it, I want to create it, then the next step, I'm going to press A to select all, and then I click Control B, and then I click here the segment. I drag, I click vertices, the segment, see, like that is okay already. Then next step, I'm going to go to the object mode and you can see this one, I'm going to select it and then right click to convert it to become a curve. Now once it become a curve already, I'm going to create a pipe. So this one, I'm going to name this as internal. Then I copy this curve again, control C and control V to paste it, then external, right? So one internal, one external. First, I start from internal, I go to the curve. I want to create a pipe. So just go to the geometry, the depth, I make it like this. The depth. Then, next, go to the external, and then, in that external, you have to go to the geometry as well. The depth have to bigger to be bigger. The geometry. Just now it's internal, external, the depth have to be bigger. Now, just have a look. The depth. Okay, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.03. Just adjust in that way, you are going to create a pipe. Right. Once you feel satisfied already, actually this pipe it have the external, it have internal, internal and external. So next we are going to convert it to mesh. First you click internal, right click, convert to mesh. Then click external, right click, convert to mesh. And once both already converted to become mesh, then you have to combine the mesh. So you click the first one, hold the shift, click another one, then press Control J. Now it, it already become a single mesh, then you rename it, rename this as pipe 01. Just an example. Next, we are going to fill, fill this gap. So go to the edit mode, then first, at one, at one end, you, 
you go and select the edge, click the first edge, and then hold the control, click, click until you selected the whole thing. Then hold the shift, click the external one, hold the control, and select, select until both internal and internal and external end already get selected. You right click it, then click fill. Now you can see this pipe already get filled. That another end, you have to do the same as well. Hold the control, click, sorry. You have to deselect everything first, then hold the shift, click one, then hold the control, to make sure you select the whole external end. Yeah. All right, now, it gets selected. Then you hold the shift, click another, another end. Hold the control, make sure you select. So right click, fill. So now you can back to the back to the object mode. At here, you can see you already created a pipe. And it is really hollow at the center. It is really a pipe. And you can check in the frame. It is really a pipe. It is really awesome. Now actually to create this pipe, it is really easy. Just follow my step-by-step -step tutorial from just now until now, you can create any pipe with any wave just by using the extrude, the extrude of the vertex and vertices and convert it to become a line, to become a curve and make the curve to become the pipe. And that's all. That's all for today about my tutorial on how to create pipes in Blender 3.6. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos tutorials, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you.